In BikeCAD version 12.5, we have the option to model cable guides and holes for internal cable routing. To add either of these items, click the Cable Guides icon in the top toolbar. This will launch the Cable Guides dialog box. In this dialog box, we have a tab for each tube of the bike. Cable guides can be added to the top tube by clicking on the top tube tab and clicking the Add button. A new set of input fields will appear to configure the new guide. The location along the length of the tube is defined by dimension X. In the case of the top tube, the location is measured from the intersection of the top tube and seat tube. The position of the cable guide around the circumference of the tube is defined by dimension theta. If theta is set to zero degrees, the cable guide will appear on the drive side of the tube. Setting theta to 90 degrees shifts the cable guide to the top of the tube. 180 degrees will locate the cable guide on the non-drive side of the tube. Be aware that cable guides on the non-drive side of the tube will not be visible in all display modes. However, switching the display mode to wireframe or to hidden line mode will allow the outline of the cable guide to be visible through the top tube. The style menu can be used to switch from an external cable guide to a hole for internal cable routing. Note that as the position of the hole is shifted around the circumference of the tube, the perceived diameter of the hole will change as the hole is viewed from different angles. More cable guides can be added simply by clicking the Add button again in the appropriate Tube tab. An additional cable guide will appear 100 millimeters further down the tube from the last cable guide. Since the first cable guide in this example was at the back end of the top tube, I'll increase dimension X for the second cable guide to locate it at the front end of the tube. I'll also change R1 to 3 mm and R2 to 0 mm to reflect the desired orientation of this second cable guide. Dimension X can be displayed on the screen by going to the Dimensions dialog box and choosing Brazons, Cable Guides, and then the appropriate tube. To add cable guides to an extra tube, find the Cable Guides tab in the Extra Tubes dialog box. Similarly, cable guides can be added to the extra tubes of a tandem in the Cable Guides tab in the Tandem dialog box.